Uh, hi, I'm John Boyer, a Japanese and computer science dual major here at the University of Finley. I chose my Japanese major because I've always been interested in Japan and they have lots of strong computer and software companies there. So I thought it'd be a good combination to do Japanese along with my other degree, computer science. The Japanese program here is really about like talking. It's not just from a textbook. You do a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversation with the teacher or with your classmates. And in Japanese, you have to kind of be polite it's not like America here. Sometimes you have to be more polite to the people above you, below you. There's this kind of complicated system like that. And the teacher is really good at telling you like how to talk to who and when and why. So it'll really help me when I graduate for if I work in say a Japanese company, I know how to talk to people if they're Japanese, depending on their status. So at the time I've been at UF, I've actually gone abroad twice. One of them was for a program called the Kake Bridge Program, and that's actually open to everybody, not just uh, Japanese majors. It's a three-week trip that you get to visit a whole bunch of different like Japanese cultural sites and different colleges and high schools and whatnot, and it's really good to actually be able to go there and meet a whole bunch of people and it really opens your eyes because seeing it in a textbook versus like actually going there, it's really different and I went after my first year, just one year studying Japanese and I had a blast and it really helped me when I got back, you know, focus more on studying because I know what I could and couldn't do after going there so it was really nice to go and see what I could do. Even if you're not thinking about majoring just strictly in Japanese, you can make yourself a lot more marketable, like let's say you're going to study business. Even if you can't learn the language very well or don't know it very well, just knowing the culture behind them can really help you be better in your workplace. So if you're working with a Japanese company, maybe you'll know how to talk to your superior or how to help facilitate conversation. So even if you don't have the biggest, like, I don't know, drive, you want to be perfect in Japanese, even just learning the culture a little bit can go a long way in helping business relations. After I graduate, I'm going to hopefully work at a Japanese company and what I want to do with my degrees that I've earned here is I want to help kind of bridge the gap between Japanese and American workers when they're doing computer projects or something, for example, because I can use my computer expertise as well as my Japanese language skills to kind of help facilitate working together because I've noticed, I actually intern at a company now, and I've noticed sometimes the American workers and the Japanese workers, they don't click 100% of the time because of language barriers or even cultural barriers. So once I graduate, I really kind of want to help bridge that gap and help the workflow go a little better.